gasoline prices, diesel prices are creeping up, oil is becoming more expensive. That's having a knock-on effect to other commodities like food, clothing. Anything that needs transport obviously is impacted by fuel prices. Landwirtschaftliche Produkte haben sich die Preise ungefähr verdoppelt. Für metallische Produkte vervierfacht. Für Energiepreise haben mehr als verzehnfacht. There's not enough oil being produced in the world per day for all of us to have enough. Lithium is the, the future. And the reason for it is because uh, the world is looking for an alternative source of energy. Uh, and so in order to tap into renewable energy like uh, the sun, the wind, uh, it needs to be able to store that energy. So uh, lithium ion batteries is really uh, the key to that. The whole landscape is changing. In the future, electric vehicles is, will be the standard. We've had breakthroughs with hybrids and sort of other technology, but to really go to a state where we're no tailpipe, zero emission, is truly exciting. Our uh, plan is very clear, is to go uh, mass market on electric cars. Our belief is that China will probably be the forefront of electric vehicle development. By 2020, that one car out of ten sold in the world is electric. China has very aggressive targets and, uh, for example, they want to have 50% ownership of electric vehicles uh, by uh, 2030. Solara that I've ever stood on um, is in Bolivia. The only drawback to it, of course, is it's in Bolivia. Aquí Bolivia ha sido el país subdesarrollado. Es un país que tenía tantos recursos natural como la plata y el oro se lo llevaron de nuestro país, como el estaño cuando los varones del estaño todo eso y para nuestro país no dejaron nada, ¿no? Y ahora lo que esperamos que el litio, con este litio no pase eso. Trotz der großen Sprüche ist es bisher sehr schwierig gewesen, weil was Bolivien in erster Linie braucht, ist technisches Know-how und viel Geld. Und alles beides gibt es in Bolivien nicht.